Welcome back, everybody. It is time to lock down another booster cracking Sunday. And today we have the Epic of the Dragon Lord, the brand new set from Force of Will. I'm excited to open this one up. We've got to pull Ragnarok, the cover guy right here. He's the most expensive card. And if we get the full art, uh, that's what I'm digging for, for sure. So there's some cool cards in here. And let's get cracking into this thing. We're going to open the whole box today. So stay put and leave a like. And enjoy. You stu stupid boxer. Oh, where's my knife? Where's my knife? Oh my gosh. I'll be joking. Okay. All right. Let's peel this plastic off and get into this thing. It's got like one side of the box is like thicker cardboard than the next. So they kind of redid their boxes a little bit, it looks like. Oh, yeah. We get a promo card. I completely forgot about the promo card. Very nice. Let's slide that on back nice and straight and take a look at this thing. Oh, and she is gorgeous, too. Look at that. Star Sword. Endless Starlight the Star Sword. Really cool. Really cool. All right, let's start jumping into these very loose, airy packs. There's a ton of air in these things. Let's see what we can find. First pack. Let's go. We've got, ooh, a classic card. Water card, whatever that was called. I forget, but I just recognize it. Uh, let's see. Our Magic Stone. Our Will Coin. And then we've got Epic Stone of the Dragon as our rare. And then behind it, we've got our first rare foil, Interdimensional Graveyard. Pretty good dope. Try to go fast through these things. Don't want to overload the video in time. We've got new split cards in this set. Don't ask me what they do. I don't know. Magic Stone, Will Coin, and Mermaid's Thunder Parasol as our rare. And behind it, our first full art rare, uh, the Magic Academy, which... Probably, well, it could be worth something. This is a brand new set. We'll see. I'm not super thrilled with the card stock right now. It's uh, pretty lackluster compared to other sets, unfortunately. Endless Purse, Light Magic Stone, and then we've got Ominous Moon, the Lunar Sword as our super rare. Cool. Need to get her in a full art. Really cool card to get in a full art. Uh, Wind Servant of Ragnarok, just a uncommon or whatever you want to call it. Neutral. I forget what those are called. <laughs> normal. Normal. They're called normal. Always forget that. Why switch it? Why switch what's already good? Common, uncommon, you know? All right, Appraisal, the Hidden History, Magic Bird, nice little owl, and there's our life points, and there's our rare. We've got the Epic Stone of the Elements and the Hidden History, Celestia, just a normal. That's all right. They can't all be bangers straight away, you know? We got to build up to it, build up the hype. All right, let's keep going. Stormy Sky, oh, we're skipping. Fire Magic Stone. Magic Stones aren't very impressive in this set. There's our first rare split card. Uh, Summoner of Sprites. Interesting. Some cool artwork on these cards, though, at least for half of them, usually. <laughs> and then the other half is, like, kind of lackluster. Uh, but we got a Burn It Rabbit Dash as our rare foil. Cool little bunnies. A purple bunny, a yellow bunny, a red bunny. All right. Into the next. Let's go. See what else we got. We've got a Hidden History, a Water Magic Stone, Life Points, and then we got Bone Dragon as our super rare. Interesting. Grimoire of the Seven Luminaries, just a normal foil. These packs are all jacked up in this box. They're floating all around the place. Looks like it went through some heck to get to, through the shipping here. Spri uh, Spirit of the Star, really cool card. Love to get a full art of that one. It's a nice little fairy. And then we've got Lord of the Undead split card as our rare. Pretty sweet one, actually. Cool artwork on that. And then our first little foil split card. And this is, oh, I forget the name of these MR cards. Um, Majestic Rare? No, I'm guessing now. But uh, yeah, cool card. Let's see, it's a little fox. The Seven-Tailed Fox. Pretty sweet looking. All right, next one, Magic Crest, Wind of Star, something something, Servant of Ragnarok, and then we've got a cool looking card there. We got the Magic Academy again, just the normal version, and then we've got a rare version of that split card, but now it's the foil. Keep it coming, let's go. All right, we've got stuff that's kind of peeking behind, trying to spoil our our little end cards here, a will coin, and then we got the elegant Makaje sisters as our super rare. Very cool characters. And look at that, we got the nice foil of the Spirit of the Star already. Fantastic. All right. Probably not worth anything, but you know, it's a cool card to have. All right. Little 
squirrel, flying squirrel. Uh, there is one other character I want to get, and that's the researcher girl. I forget the total name of it. Jewel of the Panda King as our super rare. Very nice looking foil. And that's it. Oh, did we pass the, the other rare? That's our other rare spirit of magic. When her character comes up again, I'll show you, but she is a cool looking card and the full art is pretty dope. Spirit of the Star again, and Light Magic Stone, and then we got Isolated Demon of Revenge as our rare, and behind that's Lithia's Mentor, Lilia's Mentor as our rare foil. All right. Into the next one, we got Hidden History, Academy, and we got more history, more life points, and then we got Rhea, Spawn of the Star as our super rare split card, and Magic Crest of Water. This is a classic reprint, the one I was talking about, so we got a nice full art of that, but it is just a normal. Into this one, we've got the showdown with Ragnarok with tons of cleavage, and we've got Elixir of Love, Lilia Strike, Freaking striking into some cleavage. All right, and we've got life points, our Burning Rabbit Dash normal version, and then we've got the foil version of the split card, the Elegant Makaje Sisters. Very nice, very nice. Split cards for days, but not a ton of the character full arts that I'm looking to get. You know, I like to collect those character full arts. Let's go, Star Dragon as our super rare. Very cool card to get in a foil, I think. Just the normal version. And then we got Pilgrim of the Star, just a normal foil. Interesting. All right, we've got a Chasing Dragon, Grave Creeper, Grave Keeper, Appraisal. Let's see, what do we have behind the will coin? Another split card, Sorcerer of Sending Back. Interesting, and then right behind it, the foil version. Okay, double, double. Come on, Ragnarok. We just need the Ragnarok Dragon Lord. That's all I wanna get really from this set. Let's go, gotta put it out there, put it into the air, and then we shall see what we can find. Epic Stone of the Blood is our rare though. Pretty cool card. And then behind that, we've got the foil of Lord of the Undead split card. Very nice looking. Keep rocking and rolling. We've got an injured fox. Why is it injured? Nobody knows. Hulk, pig, spirit of light. Cool looking card too. That's a cool looking card actually. Look at that artwork. Aberrant revival, abhorrent revival. Is that our rare? Oh no, that's a token. Thunder wolf as our split rare. Interesting. Behind that, epic stone of the star, full art, beautiful looking card. Next, oh, sticking to it, let's go. We got the Flying Squirrel again, and we've got a Endless Starlight, the Star Sword, as our super rare. Behind it, Arm of the Demons, a nice normal foil. It's actually not that nice, kind of confusing artwork, doesn't really blend well with the foil in my opinion. Sometimes the more you look at a card, the more you're like, eh, you know, I don't know about that one. All right, more Stabby Cleavage Girl. And we've got Monstrous Rush as our, that is a super rare, all right. Behind it, a Chasing Dragon rare, interesting. Not a fan of the artwork for that dragon, honestly. Not, not really that great, too, like, beefy. Next one, let's go, all right. Magic Crest, give me the characters, come on, come on. Hunting Dragon as our super rare behind it. Oh, this is a cool card. I really do like the artwork in this card. Uh, I think it's really nice. I wish they told you the artist on this. I don't think they, they kind of do, right? Right here. Taru. Taru, I think, is the artist. Perpetual Student at the Academy. Just a normal card, but really lovely artwork. All right, next one. We've got the normal, the normal, the normal, the normal, the normal, the normal. Fire Magic Stone, Life Points, and Epic Stone of the Elements as our rare. And behind it, another split super rare. Uh, that is Crest Researcher. Interesting. All right. I know some of the split cards are worth some value, though, so we got to keep a lookout for a few of them. Our chances are pretty good, considering we've already gotten quite a few of the foils of those. So here's to hoping. And we've got Fire Magic Stone again, Life Points, and Starlit Canopy as our rare. Boom. There we go. There's a good one. There's a good one. We've got Lilia's last descendant of the Dragonoids, our J Ruler. Let's turn her around. Oh, she's just like, same pose, except she's not smiling. And now she's grinning. And I don't know how I feel about reusing the artwork like that. 
not really a fan of that. You're kind of just stealing the same pose and then just tweaking it a little bit. Beautiful looking foil though for her, and uh, she should be worth probably like a tenner. Good 10 smack. All right, we got our first J ruler. That's good. Let's keep digging in deep here. We got a will coin with the Ragnarok that we're looking for. We've got Epic Stone of the Treasure, and behind it, Hidden Histories, Mikaje, just a normal. All right, here we go. We've got Flying Squirrel, Flying Squirrel. Wind, wind, and wind, and will, and then this one again. Some man, we've getting a lot of duplicates of these split cards, that's for sure. Behind it, Spirit of Magic as our rare. Keep her coming. We're coming down to the final packs. This is the girl I want to get. Um, I forget her name. She's like Researcher of Treasure or something like that. Uh, but yeah, she's a cool looking card. As a full art, we've got Mikaje Fantasy Guide. Love her character too. And then we've got Wind of the Star as our foil. Little like cool looking almost black hole of wind. Normal card though. In we go again. Here we go. We've got a Fox Crest, Endless Purse, Spirit of Light, Spirit of Star, and a Wind Magic Stone. Oh, look at that guy. Hey, look at you. Nice beast token. Interdimensional Graveyard again as a rare. And then we've got Epic Stone of the Dragon. Nice full art. Very cool looking. Which might be That might be worth a little bit. All right, into the next here. Let's do this. We've got a Spelling Stone more of the normal nonsense and then we got spirit of the soul some interesting artwork on that one i can't really figure out what's going on with him what kind of a creature is that he's like a pig dog rabbit hybrid behind it oh yeah nice we got star dragon look at that see i told you that would be a sick one to get in a rare of uh, nice foil i should say very cool next pack let's do this that foil peeking at the back try not to look at it uh, Fire Serve Number Ragnarok. That is sweet. The artists that does the Ragnarok Dragon guys are really nice. Rabid Dash. There we go. And then we've got Epic Stone of the Treasure. All right. Well, we gotta we gotta get some decent stuff here. Now I'm sure some of the other cards that I have uh, had some value, but you know, for me as the collector. I would like to get a little bit of different stuff than the split cards, but we got another split card, a Splitter Rabbit, and then we've got a Lonely Vampire as our normal foil. Keep it running, keep gunning. All right, showdown. We got Elixir of Love, Elixir Magic Stone, and then we got Alithia's Mentor, which we've gotten in the foil, and a beautiful looking Epic Stone of Elements foil. Look at that, nice foiling. Here we go, into the next one. Holy crap, did we just get a god pack? Um, I think we got a god pack. I think this makes up for anything else that could have happened in this box, because this is a first card foil. Super rare. Unless the pack is backwards, we might have just gotten extremely, extremely lucky. So let's see. A nice spirit of scorched bales. We did. Oh my gosh, we got a god pack. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know they existed in this set. All right, fantasy guide, foil Makaje sisters, bone dragon. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. That bone dragon looks sweet. Monstrous rush. These are all foils, all delectable yumminess. Mischievous boy. We haven't gotten this one yet. All stealing, all, all t -t -t I don't even know. We got the seven tailed fox in a foil. Oh man, he has some sick artwork. I'm glad I got this. I want to see a full art of just this because he is cool looking. Curse Spawn of the Star Tasua, or however you want to say it. I don't know. All right, Rhea Spawn of the Star. Do we have one more? And Kiki Celestia's partner. Holy crap. Jeez, that's crazy. God pack. Dang, and we didn't even get to see Ragnarok, and I'm, I'm kind of a little disappointed, I'll be honest, even though it was a god pack, but that is crazy. I didn't know they existed. Wow, all right, we, we've only got a few more here, so let's uh, finish up. I don't know how you top that freaking god pack in the newest sets. Only pulled one other god pack uh, back in the day. Not back in the day, not too long ago, actually. I'll uh, link to that video if you want to check, me, uh, check out me pulling another god pack. But we have Water Spirit of the Lamp, and then we've got the beautiful 
Flute Dragonoid Child uh, looking very good with the foiling on it. Again, though, like these split cards, it's just like full art of just this, please. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think about those? All right. Sticking. We're sticking here. Twinkle Dragon. Twinkle Dragon, Hidden History, Darkness Servant. And we got to go to the rare, which is an epic stone of the star. Behind that, a nice foil spirit of the... What is the spirit of the sun? Little mix mesh animal dude. Keep running, keep gunning. Oop, I'm seeing stuff at the end. I don't want to see it yet. Pilgrim, Lilia's Cleavage Sword, Student, and then we've got the Spirit of Scorch Bales, just the normal version. And wow, look at that. Spirit of Light as our normal foil. Beautiful looking card. That is dope. Really cool foiling on that. Awesome. Two more packs. Let's get into it here. Let's go. Come on, give me the good stuff here. One more character art. That's all I want, and then I'll be a happy boy. We've got Celestia's partner, and behind it, the Endless Purse, which for a foil, I think could be a little bit better, but oh well. The foils are kind of hit and miss in this set, I think. And I think it has to do with that cardstock quality too, and how you print it on the certain cardstocks. All right, last pack, last chance. Exorcist, Mage at the Academy. Cool artwork on this one. It is our rare behind it. Woohoo! I'll take that. Yeah! Ominous Moon, the Lunar Sword as a secret rare full art foil. Beautiful. Love that. That's one that I would be happy getting for sure. So, that is really dope. Nice. Very nice. Sorting things are fun. Fun for everyone. Gonna sort through all my rares and show that I am done. Oh, yeah. Mm. If you don't know, this is where I go through and guess to see which ones I think are actually going to be the picks of the day for value. And uh, a lot of the time I do get it wrong because I go in blind a lot of the time. So we'll see what I come up with. All right. So for the picks of the day, I've got a few choices. I've limited it quite a bit. I don't have any of like really of any of the stones in here. I do think some of the stones are probably going to be pretty highly valued, but I'm looking at the split cards mainly because I know there's at least three of them that are worth some some good bucks. Uh, I can't remember which character split cards actually do have the value. So I've got the fantasy guide in here and I've got Bone Dragon. Don't know if he's really done anything. Uh, Mischievous Boy, I have my doubts about that one. Um, I think Tasuo is one that's worth some money as long as, as well as Rhea, Spawn of the Star. I think this is a sought after one, so good to get in the foil. Also Flute, I think is a pretty strong contender for something that could hold value. Um, of course, we've got our J Ruler, Lilia's the last descendant of the Dragon Noise, should hold some very good value. And then we've got the regular version of the Lunar Sword, uh, which by itself, probably isn't a whole lot but because of us getting the full art i put both in there because this one is sick so those are our picks i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe because i've got a lot of other force of will boxes to open and if you want to come along with me and see me unbox those and see what kind of crazy hits we can get i've been pulling uber rares i just pulled a god pack so leave a like for that if you haven't uh but yeah hopefully you enjoyed stay tuned for more stuff coming up for sure and thank you for checking out the video. We will see you guys. Oh, you almost got me. You almost got me. We got to put prices up on screen. So prices up on screen for how we did with this box. And uh, yeah, I think we still probably made out pretty well considering the pulls we got and the God Pack really probably helped with just solidifying our value on this box so yeah that's the box's uh price total paid uh 85 bucks for it so leave a like if we got over that too and i'll stop saying leave a like because i'm sure you already have at this point right right all right thanks guys and we will see you guys in the next video